Welcome to another mini trip episode, everyone. To this trip, we are at Jimmy's Beach in Hawk's Nest and we are set up, had lunch because we can check in on our site at, at 11 a.m. here. And someone's just enjoying some card design and games. While she waits for a little bestie to come. We're camping with friends this trip. And uh, come along and check out what we get up to here at Jimmy's Beach. Alright, so we've had a easy trip down. It's been a clear run. Which has been surprising considering it is Good Friday. It is also the first day of the school holidays here in New South Wales. Uh, but we had, there was more traffic than normal. But we had a good easy run. Now <laughs> on another another note, we have unfortunately learnt the hard way. If you do a group booking online with reflections, that you're not guaranteed to be in your group as a group together. So we this trip we have booked with friends in online group booking. And we get here to find out we are nowhere near each other. So I questioned the office and they said, if you're ever doing a group booking with Reflections Caravan Parks, you need to email that caravan park in the chain that you want to stay at. Email them directly to guarantee your group will be together she said you can ring but if they don't answer the phone and it goes to the call center you're still not guaranteed so take that tip on board if you're ever choosing to stay as a group with reflections holiday parks So this is the walking track. We haven't walked the whole way yet. There's no information to say how long the track is, but it's all been flat and wide like this. We've passed people on bikes, people pushing prams, but this is our nice little walk into Winder Whopper. All right, guys, we're ditching the walking track and we're about to head over this dune and check out Jimmy's Beach. Alright, welcome to Winder Whopper everyone. This is the beautiful day we have woken up to down here. The water is still a little bit dirty from flooding two weeks ago. But I don't know if we're going for a swim in that. But that's alright. The weather is beautiful and we are enjoying just getting out, chillaxing and enjoying some time with friends. Here we are at Dark Point and we have a little obstacle. 
do we or don't we cross the water okay here we are the track is probably only 50 meters long and it's just a little sandy track Welcome to Dark Point Sand Dunes everyone. This has definitely been a surprise to find these amazing sand dunes. So I'll spin you around. Corey's up with a drone to get you um, some footage and come check it out. All right, here we are. The kids are having a ball on the sand dune. Even the big kids are getting up there and having a go. Good morning and welcome to a very early morning down on Bennett's Beach. We're just waiting for the sunrise over the island and then we're off and being brave and heading up the headland at the end for a bit of a walk. Come along and check out the journey. Here we are nearly to the end. As you can see, this end of the beach is lovely and weedy. 
and we're about to climb that. All right, here we are, we started on the track. It's steep already and nice and narrow and very sensory with all the plants. Let's see how we go. And here we are, we've made it to the viewing area, as you can't really tell by the glare behind me, but it has been an amazing view. I'll turn the camera around so you can check out Jimmy's and Bennett's Beach. All right, we've definitely found the stairs and this climb to the summit is definitely not for the faint-hearted. It is definitely steep. Okay, so once you reach the top and find this sign, the track definitely keeps going. You are at the top, but the track keeps going along the top to the awesome views all right so when you first reach the top you must keep going there's probably another 50 or so meters until you've come across a pole and the view is definitely worth it check it out All right, here we are. We have made it back to the bottom. It has been an awesome walk. Definitely gets the heart rate up going up, especially the last 500 meters to the summit are nice and steep. Uh, it's a little, that 500 meters are then hard coming down on your knees, but if you go slow and steady, it's all very much worth it. Um, the rest of the track, it's pretty good. Now it's just walking back along the beach. It's a lot nicer now. The tide's gone out and the, we can walk on the hard sand. Uh, but I definitely recommend if you're going when the weather's warmer, definitely get up early and go. We got up and watched the sunrise and headed up. And we're, now we've come back down onto the beach. It is definitely a warm day. Alright guys, that's a wrap from Jimmy's Beach. So, when we arrived, we were, as we said at the start, we were a little upset about doing a group booking and then putting a request that the two sites be as close as possible to each other and then getting there to find out that if we want to be together, we have to email book. But other than that, it was pretty good. The amenities weren't, when they were clean, if you got in after they were clean, that was fine. You right there, honey, shaking your head? Crap. Um, yeah, if you went to the amenities block as soon as they got cleaned, it was all good, but they weren't the best. We ended up choosing to use our own shower and we in our own toilet uh, because for a full caravan park it really needs to be cleaned more regularly than what it was. But otherwise it was really, really nice. It was good because that area, that tea garden to hawks nest area wasn't as commercialised as other areas. Um, even though it was busy, it, you weren't on top of the other people and it didn't feel like it was a, it was packed out with tourists. The sites were definitely nice large sites. So you had plenty of room, so you weren't on top of your neighbors either. Um, what else? Oh, the actual Jimmy's Beach. That was absolutely beautiful. The water was very fresh once you got in, but it was good, beautiful. 
Yeah, even though I'm not a beach person, it wasn't too bad. It was acceptable. Acceptable. Um, anything else? Oh, it would have been good to be, be able to explore Mungo Brush a bit better, but unfortunately due to flooding a couple of weeks ago, we couldn't fully explore it. Some, some surprises too. Like, what was it? Dark Point? Yeah, Dark Point. Where Dark Point, that was a surprise. We weren't expecting sand dunes and stuff. awesome sand dunes. We just thought we were walking out to a headland and that was it. So to discover those sand dunes was awesome. Um, my walk yesterday morning up Yakaba, um, that was that was full on, but the view at the top was definitely worth it. We, us girls, were very impressed with our views, um, but it's definitely something you have to do early in the morning. Anything else? Oh, the Dolphin Watch cruise was good. I think the kids enjoyed it. I think the adults enjoyed it too. It was a, you know, that was. I'd highly recommend to go and do that for the price of it, like $65 for a family of four for a two hour cruise. Um, yeah, fantastic. Saw heaps of dolphins. Um, it'd be better uh, when the water's clearer, but because of the recent floods, you know, the water was quite murky and brown, so you couldn't really see them that well, but yeah, on that, yeah, that was fantastic, the cruise, just to get get away get out in the water for a couple of hours um fully licensed too so yeah yeah, well. yeah. and I, I enjoyed it you know besides for the crowds it was still it was still good it still didn't seem super noisy um but yeah we none of us got in the boom net on the dolphin cruise but it was um it was a drop down into the net and a big drop to try and get yourself back out of. So it was interesting watching the people that did go in and out, how well they went. So, but otherwise, yeah, the dolphin cruise was cool too. Well, on to our next destination now. Yep, so we've uh, been able to extend this trip and turn it into a full week trip so stay tuned and we will keep you up to date with where to next cheers guys see ya